This conference will now be recorded. All right, so today is Thursday, August 22nd, and as always, everything that we're going to be talking about today is for educational purposes only, and nothing is intended as any type of investment advice. Ah, so we're continuing into what it looks like our retail earnings. we got some retail stuff moving out there. First thing I'm going to be looking at is DKS, Dick Sporting Goods. All right, so this morning we can see coming in a pretty early at that 730 area, we had a few aspirants that came in at that 36 level, then 37, 3650, pretty much almost all pr pretty mixed except 37.50 does have a little bit of buying um, once again very very early this morning before even eight o'clock now coming back up we can see that 35.50 on its way back down getting a few more aspirins which is pretty much continuing this towards that downside so we have a pretty strong support level sitting here about 35.25 if not we do also have our orb line sitting here down at 34.50 so if we continue to break down we can continue to see that ask we're going to end up using this as a magnet to come back down towards there but we're going to end up looking for that trigger back towards that upside remember we know you know dick's being up you know close to 32.97 moving all the way up to that 38 level we know we're going to be seeing selling so it really comes down to that new buying and we definitely are getting a little bit of it certainly would like to see a bit more but overall not terrible so once again you know based off the ask we're going to be looking for it to continue on that pull down remember 35 is a big psychological level here so watch that for a support as well but once again if we do get more ask prints there we're going to end up seeing this thing kind of trend back down towards that bottom or blind next thing jwn so jwn this morning it's a little bit all over the place but i do like its prints just a little bit better and the reason being it's it's not as a mix so we can see 29 we definitely have a whole bunch of aspirins that came in um, but it really looks like considering the fact that we jumped up that that those aspirins would essentially be covering we're going to take it as you know it really doesn't matter we're going to take it as buying so we definitely have a little bit of new buying that's coming back into it but once again when we came back towards that 2850 level you could see almost all selling down here or even above that level as well so that kind of that's really what gives me the idea that it would be more of covering than that buying side of things but overall we're going to be looking for us to break down below that 2850 and then we're going to see if once we kind of hit if we're going to be able to get back up to that 29 now the highs were all the way up at 31 so there definitely is more Room towards that upside but we need to see more buying because ever since pretty much breaking underneath that 29 we've seen nothing but selling next thing rtrx rtrx all right so this one pretty cheap stock not really a great show of hand yet but it is like i said being it's cheap and you can short it as well which is a big plus because we can look basically on either side of any type of show of hand so coming in earlier this morning you can see it's just it hasn't really given us a that that great definitive this is what's going to happen a little bit of buying there at that 1260 level but you can see i mean really not much at any type of controlling point okay but overall 943,000 shares being traded it on average trades 500 and five so definitely an anomaly here we're going to be expecting some you know some exception type trading coming in it's just going to need a better once again a better show of hand for us to really be able to make anything out of it yet and then mbio is going to be on my side list and the reason it's on my side list so i'm not really happy with the amount of buying that we saw as we pushed up past that 550 towards that six level if we come back over here and it lets me go back which it is you can see not really anything there coming into this morning for such a huge move you had a few s a couple aspirants that came in at that five um, but other than that just not really much but the one thing that i do like is that it's pretty it's holding fairly well even at this bottom of the consolidation i would have expected it to come back down because what it jumped up on really wasn't much but once again having those ask prints at five there's no reason we can't see this thing start to kind of take off a little bit and get back up towards at least that 550 point before we obviously going to need more prints to uh to come in for us to really be able to do anything else and as donna just said you can get shares of it as well so we're going to be looking on for both sides but you know really the way that it looks is that if we either it, it's, it hasn't got a kiss of death necessarily but overall looks more of the, along the lines of it's either not really going to trade at all or we're going to get that move back towards that five so overall just going to need some more prints out there but i do i like the setup a little bit definitely a side list stock though all right guys anything else well we could go over tesla too because tesla just had some prints that came in at 227 on the bid side of things we look at the orders out here this is definitely a difficulty of trade because there's just really not much available although it is trading 582,000 shares already this morning so i'm going to be expecting a lot of range out of tesla and once again obviously that those selling at 227 it's already kind of coming back down from there we pulled up almost a dollar from the original print um so we're going to start to we're going to need to start to see more for this thing to really be able to get any type of traction to be able to come back towards that downside <laughs> remember 
overall, you know, the bigger selling prints, but it needs more for us to really do anything. Right now, it's just a uh, little all over, over, uh, little all over the place. But based off the variables that we do have here, um, we certainly should see a big move coming out of uh, coming out of Tesla today. Uh, let's see, CRM. It would watch mornings after close. Let's take a look. All right, so CRM not really doing anything, although at the same time, it's got no real prints this morning and all of the real prints that it has have had been on the selling side. So that 149 level, we're already about, at, you know, we're, well, we're sitting right there, but overall, nothing but selling. So um, not really a great volume, but at the same time, certainly something to look at. Um, SPLK, let's take a look. So it's not yeah, it's not terrible. We got some prints there at 123. It's just like everything else, though, I'm seeing this morning. We kind of get like a mix right in between prints. So at 130, we have ass, then we have selling at 129, then we have buying at 127. And then it's pretty much following the same trend that we've seen out there. But some nice prints at, at 123 definitely going to go onto our list, especially 271,000 shares already. Usually only trades 1.4 million. So that's a whole lot um, for its pre-market trading so far. Um, uh, that's actually, yeah, no, it actually, it's CRM. It definitely is a show van. It just, it's, it has nothing but that show. Uh, let's take a look at Roku this morning. So Roku, we can see absolutely no trading going on. Only 38,000 shares. So really just hasn't shown anything yet. We're going to have to wait for the open for us to get any type of, uh, any type of real show of hand there. All right, guys, now anything else out there that I missed? All right, we got a few more. So PDD, um, so PDD, yes. Well, I mean, PDD, there's nothing going on right this second, but remember we have a huge amount of buying at that 30 level and even bigger amount um, sitting on the ass side of that 2950. So nothing going on yet, but certainly something to keep an eye on. Seal must be something new that's popping up and it looks like that is the case. So coming over, let's see, do we get anything at two? No bigger prints at two yet, but definitely something to look at. So Seal will definitely make our list as well. Just gonna need new buying. If we don't get any type of buying up here, we're gonna end up seeing this thing just kind of die out. Uh, why is there buying in GME? <laughs> <laughs> I saw it this morning and it really, I mean, it jumped up 30 cents, but I don't know. I, I couldn't tell you. I'm not sure why this thing is still really a stock, to be completely honest. Um, <laughs> Big short guy said it's undervalued. He's long. Oh. <laughs> Michael Barry, well, I don't, think, I don't, I don't agree with him whatsoever. I, I, if anything, based off its financials and based off of the company itself, I think it's under, I think it's overvalued to be completely honest. But we'll see what happens. Uh, not something that usually makes for a very good day trade. Definitely something for uh, if you're going to do some type of longer term. Although at this point, there's not really much longer term to really go with it. But you know, to each their own. When a big short guy goes long, be worried. Well. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's get ready for our morning. I will talk to everyone in the chat, and happy trading.